it is a body routine, which is really fantastic because it means you can do it anywhere and you don't need any equipment. We're going to do six exercises and we're going to rest 30 seconds in between each exercise. At the end of this sixth exercise, you're going to rest 90 seconds and we're going to do four total rounds. The first exercise we're going to do is a body weight squat. So you can put your hands behind your head, or if you have a hard time keeping your torso upright, you can put your arms out in front for a counterbalance. So what we're going to do is place the feet right up into the shoulders, and you're going to squat down, keeping your knees apart, and come up, squeezing the glutes. Again, squat down, keeping the knees apart, torso upright, and come on up, squeeze the glutes, and we're going to do 8 to 10 reps. The next exercise we're going to do is a push-up. You're going to come down to your hands and your toes. If that's too difficult, you can start on your knees. And we're going to form a straight line from our ears all the way down to our ankles. It's going to look just like this, making sure that we're not sagging our hip or sticking our butt up in the air. As you go down, everything goes down together, pulling the shoulders together. Everything comes up together, pushing the shoulders apart. And we're going to do five to eight reps. The next exercise we're going to do is a plank. So we're going to get in the same position we were in the push-up, except we're going to come down to our forearms. And I want you to make sure that you place your elbows right underneath your shoulders, straight line from ear to ankle. We're going to hold this for 15 seconds. When you're in the plank, I want you to think about keeping your butt squeezed tight, your abs tight, and your legs tight so that your whole body is engaged. And we are going to do 15 reps. So it's just going to look like this. The next exercise we're going to do is a reverse lunge. For this exercise, you can put your hands behind your head or on your hips. But either way, I want you to make sure that you keep your torso up nice and tall so that you're not leaning forward through the exercise. So we're going to alternate our legs, stepping back the left and then the right. Stepping back and coming back to the starting position. Be careful when you step back that you don't uh, hit your knee really hard on the ground. Just a nice little tap. And push through the heel of the front foot as you're standing up. The next exercise we're going to do is a glute bridge or a lying hip raise. So you're going to lie on your back and you're going to place your feet um, about, I'd say a foot from your butt, you want to create sort of a 45 degree angle here. You're going to lay down on your back, putting your arms down at your side, and you're going to use your glutes to lift your hips up until they reach the height of your knees. So using the glutes, glutes nice and tight, keeping your abs nice and tight. Yeah. You just want to make sure that as you're lifting up, you're not arching your back and using your back to lift up, rather using the muscles in your butt. And we're going to do this 10 times. 